got our coffee. I grabbed myself a handful of fresh raspberries. I have a massive raspberry bush directly behind the camera. Uh, I just couldn't help myself. They're freaking delicious. I love raspberries. And I figured it was fitting, you know, grab a handful of raspberries as we're going to talk about some budget ultralight cook setups. If you're looking at transitioning into ultralight backpacking or saving some weight out of your backpack, the beauty of cook systems is they're really inexpensive. They're really great at helping shave bulk out of your backpack. And you can cut a lot of weight out of your backpack by just going with a more minimalist backpacking cook setup. When I say minimalist cook Cook setups everything here is kind of designed for one individual backpacker and it's going to be setting you up for carrying what you need when you're out there on trail if all you do is boil in a bag meals or you know rehydrate your food when you're out there on trail typically all you're ever going to need to boil is two cups of water and all of these cook systems here are designed to just efficiently boil two cups of water that's pretty much all they're for you know you're not really going to do a whole lot of gourmet cooking with these type of systems out there so if that's what you're looking for and looking to get into, let's talk about some options here. The beauty of sourcing out an ultralight cook system for backpacking is Amazon is your absolute best friend. Pretty much everything here on the table, you know, aside from my coffee mug and my raspberries, I picked up on Amazon. Uh, every cook system here, no matter which way you kind of intermingle it, is going to cost you under 50 bucks. They all pack down really small. Everything here is going to be a nesting system. Everything is going to be able to intermingle. So you can use this stove set up with this pot and with this pot and vice versa, whatever you want to do. Uh, like I said, everything does nest together. So, you know, if you take the fuel can off of the stove, you can put it all inside the pot and everything stays as one nice contained unit, which is really handy. Helps keep you organized when you're out on trail. The two pot setups that I have, this one here is a Luxata 650 mil titanium pot. And this guy here is a Tokes 550 mil titanium pot. Each of these setups is gonna cost you about 28 bucks on Amazon. The Luxata setup is 3.9 ounces and the Toke setup is 2.6 ounces. 550 mil pot might be a little bit small for some people. You know, if you're doing the boil in a bag meals where you have to boil up two cups of water, you literally fill this thing almost up to about right there, which is why I also present the option of the 650 mil pot setup. Gives you a little bit more room off the top of the pot. Uh, I know with this one here, if I'm boiling up two cups of water, sometimes, you know, you'll see the lid do a little bit of a dance there. And I know that kind of bothers some people, but in relative size and weight, they are pretty close. I mean, you're really only looking at like an ounce and a quarter difference between the 650 and the 550. Uh, they're both exactly the same price. And with all the gear here, as I mentioned, it's all found on Amazon. And I will put links in the description below where you guys can find any of this gear here that we are talking about today if you're looking at picking up for yourself or picking it up for a friend or whatever like i said links will be in the description box down below so we've talked pots a little bit you know that's what you're going to boil your water in but how are you going to boil your water the two most common ways of boiling up water for ultralight backpackers out on trail are either with a canister stove or an alcohol stove the two options i have in front of me are in my mind the two best bang for your buck stove setups when it comes to a canister stove or an alcohol stove in terms of a canister stove uh, the tried and true brs 3000 i'm sure every ultralight backpacker out there either uses it or has used one at some point they are ridiculously cheap they're like 16 bucks on amazon they weigh less than an ounce when you pull it off the fuel can and you fold up the arms it packs down extremely small which makes for you know like the nesting cook system like i talked about makes it really easy to pack inside your cook pot you boil two cups of water in like just over two minutes with the brs stove for saving yourself some weight and being ridiculously cheap the brs 3000 just simply can't be beat this is hands down the best budget ultralight canister stove out there on the market now if you're okay boiling water in you know like four to five minutes and you know you want something a little bit different maybe take a look at doing a little bit of a diy alcohol stove what i've got here is my diy cat food can stove it's literally a can of fancy feast cat food a can of tomato paste with a little bit of carbon felt wrapped around it took about five minutes to build cost me less than five bucks to make my cat was really happy because she got a can of cat food i used the tomato paste and made some pizza sauce and i made myself a stove it's always a great conversation starter you know when i pull this out kind of in a communal campsite and you know you get people who traditionally only use the canister stoves and they shop at the big box stores and like what is that like that seriously you're boiling water with that that's what i boil water with uh you know it's easy to find instructions on how to build these all over youtube there's tons of different designs and styles this is just the one that i went with 
Uh, it's not the be all end all of alcohol stoves by any means. You know, there's people out there that make alcohol stoves out of pop cans, if that's kind of your thing. You know, like I said, there are tutorials all over YouTube for how to make some really, really inexpensive alcohol stoves. Uh, they're just something cool, something fun to tinker around with, and a great option if you're looking to save a couple bucks. Realistically, this is all you need to boil water out there in the backcountry. You know, you don't you don't need this kind of stuff here. Uh, this is just a little bit of extra stuff that I add to my cook systems for you know a little bit of luxury and comfort out on trail. A windscreen. The alcohol stoves are really prone to wind, as is the BRS, and just taking yourself, you know, a little bit of tin foil. Uh, just making yourself a nice simple tin foil windscreen. Pretty sure everybody has tin foil sitting in their pantry at home somewhere. You know, just rip yourself off a little sheet and do a little bit of folding. They're really nice because they're pliable. You know, you can fold it up, you can stuff it inside the pot. It works with your nesting system. To start your stove, you really can't go wrong with a mini Bic lighter. You know, you can get these at pretty much any gas station or convenience store out there. They're like two bucks, you know, they weigh like three eighths of an ounce. Uh, I, I think every backpacker should have, you know, at least a couple big minis in their backpacking kit somewhere. You know, like I carry one in my first aid kit all the time. I always have one in my stove setup. They're they're great for starting your stove. They're awesome for starting a fire. They're just the the easiest way to start a fire out of the backcountry. I like I said, every backpacker should carry some big minis. You boiled up your water, you've rehydrated your food, and you're gonna go and eat. Uh, what better way to enjoy your delicious meal in the backcountry than with some kind of titanium utensil? to eat with a couple different options that a lot of backpackers tend to enjoy you know at one point I tried out the long handle titanium spoon idea you know everybody seems to rave out these long handle spoons because you can dig deep into the bag and all that stuff but uh, I just I, I'm not honestly not really a big fan of the long handle spoons but uh, I've got you know the Tokes titanium long handle spoon, five eighths of an ounce, 11 bucks on Amazon. I'm not a big fan of the long handle spoon. I much prefer uh, a spork out in the back country. That's just kind of my jam. Um, a lot of people don't like the sporks. I do. Uh, I like to do a lot of like homemade rehydrated spaghettis out on trail. And I just, I like having you know, the little tiny tongs around the spork. I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't like the long handle one. Even if I'm eating out of the pre-packaged store-bought rehydrated bags that everybody kind of complains, you get the stuff all over your fingers when you dig in. All I do is I just take my knife and I cut the top of the bag off and I just dig in and my hands never get dirty. 10 bucks on Amazon, five eighths of an ounce. Now, if you're looking for more ways to save weight out of your backpack besides just an ultralight cook setup, I've got an entire playlist on weight saving backpacking tips. I'll fire it right here for you. So check that out when you're done with this video. And as always, I'm Maddie. Thank you so dang much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.